hello you welcome back to my channel my name is praise ganeyu i have no doubt in me that this video you're about to watch is going to be a blessing so please go ahead to like share drop your comment and of course subscribe and also do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when i drop any other video thank you so much please do enjoy the video three i saw my future as a reality that's why we always say i'm not surprised that we're where we are thank god for the grace that brought us there and i'm surprised we are not there my mind was reset. I stepped into a covenant consciously. God saw it was real. I wasn't faking it. Every great happening is a proof of great thoughts as gleaned from scriptures, as gleaned from scriptures. I saw the truth on kingdom prosperity. Yay, I can never be poor. My husband, this is what it takes to make it happen. And I'm hooked up to it. So it must happen. There's no point begging. Unfortunately, there are many mindless believers in the body of Christ. They are just hanging on. I know something will happen someday. We saw how the whole of Judah enter into a covenant to serve God with all their heart and with the whole of their desire. With the whole of their desire. Verse 15. 2 Corinthians 15, 15. With the whole of their desire. And he was fond of them. And the Lord gave them rest and power. With the whole of their desire. Our desire to come to play. What are you looking forward to? How can you enter a whole year as a believer without a kingdom dream? A king, not one kingdom dream. Hey, look, I want a plot here. I want a yard here. I want, and then you want to want to want it and it's not, it's not happening. Seek you first. How, give God his first, the first place of your life. And everything will start lining up in your favor. Everything. Everything. We are talking of passion. <laughs> We're looking at the root of passion. Where it comes from. Without a mind to walk, nothing works. But with a mind to walk, nothing can stop things from working. <laughs> Without a mind to walk, nothing works. But with a mind to walk, nothing can stop things from working. They got that job done in 52 days. Ah, 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 ah. That generation has seen that, that shame was overturned in 52 days because they had a mind to walk. They had a mind to walk. Today's 28th of, March, of June, and then uh, we are still running into July. <laughs> My God, we told that period. With a mind to see things done, I saw a church built in a village in 40 days. Without being caught, I wasn't a pastor, I was there, and I wasn't baptized in the Holy Ghost. No, passion. Passion, a mind to see Jesus have a foothold in that place, gave back to it. And they encounter destiny. Many will encounter destiny Amen. this time. Passion has its root in the mind. When any man's mind is set on the delivery of a particular task, the job is more than half done. The mind is also stronger than the body. When the mind is set for a task, the body lines, aligns with that agenda, aligns with it. The mind is like the engine and the body is like the trailer. So when the trailer head is set for motion, the low bed follows. The low bed follows. So when your mind is set to work, your body aligns to get the job done. One of those days, I haven't worked the hours in the night, I was going to move out. Um, my body was trying to say, you 
may not need to go today. My mind was saying, I have to go. My mind dragged my body. Before we were at the first point, my body has cooperated fully. A mind to walk is what gets the job done. They responded to the demand of that great task. Now watch. They were building with one hand. No building. They were burning the body with one hand and holding the sword with the other hand. You know the meaning? Their body was responding beyond its natural capacity because they had the mind to walk. Those building on the wall, using their two hands to build, they had their sword guarded on their side, ready to fight as they were building. Their body was responding. They were not even able to put off their clothes except for washing. You have all of that record, Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 6. They had their mind to walk, 13 to 18. They went all the way with everything inside them to engage. 21 to 23, they were not even able to put off their clothes for washing. They had the mind to walk. It dragged their body along. You find laid by people, sir. They don't have a mind to engage. There's no way their body can align. They don't have a mind to walk. There's no way it can walk in their hand. Wake up. Reset your mind. The world talks about mindset. Reset your mind. Reset your mind to make the most of your adventure in the kingdom. Reset your mind because God's people are ordained to take the stage in their time. God's people are ordained to take the stage in the end time. The proud world will bow to the authority of the saints who are under the authority of Christ. They will bow to the authority, sir. They, they will bow to the authority. Praise God. So you better align on time. So reset your mind. You know, there are some of my wrist watches that when I don't use them for a long time, I want to use them, I have to reset them because they have stayed wherever it was before. So you reset your mind. Look, something is happening here. Zacchaeus had a mind to see Jesus. You can't stop him. Very short, okay. But trees are taller than, than men. If I climb the tree, I'll be taller than the tallest man. He climbed the tree and he got it. Had a mind. The paralytic man had a mind to be healed. They said there was no room to enter. He said, is there a roof? Drop me through the roof. With a mind to walk, things will work. Without a mind to walk, nothing works. Without a mind to walk, nothing works. Without a mind to walk, nothing works. Whatever cannot, one cannot imagine, it cannot make happen. So manifestations begins with, ima begins with imagination. Image formation of an accomplished task in the mind. It's not a big deal. Genesis 11, verse 6. And the Lord came down to see the tower with the sons of men built. And God said, This they began to do. And now nothing can be refrained from them which they had imagined to do. I must do something, oh. They will build this tower to reach heaven. Because they imagined to make it happen. So without a mind to walk, you will pass through the two months as if nothing has happened. Yet, stories are changing around the world. Who are not even on ground here? By connecting, their stories are changing. Somebody sitting down here, he had no mind to do anything, so nothing is happening. My friends, I've heard from heaven certain things the last three, four weeks that I've never heard in my life. Never heard in my life. Awesome God. Whatever one's mind cannot contain, his hands can never deliver. What is the problem, sir? I mean, I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> I went out yesterday 
and we had we returned with 192 souls. So renew your mind to transform your life. So I'm being transformed by the renewing of your mind. The renewing means resetting. Reset your mind according to the truth. Reset it. Romans chapter 12. Be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, verse 1, by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God for your life. As found in scriptures. We saw how Christ commanded us to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, I mean, and with all our mind. Your mind has to be part of it. Otherwise, nothing happens. Every evil thought, evil act, is a product of evil thought. So, a mind to work gets it to work. I've been talking about set and reset. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. <laughs> I don't know when you gather here to say, oh God, Covenant University, do something there. Check all your priorities without you saw it there. You must move. Just do what he says to do. He knows how to move in other areas. That concerns you. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. And then you'll be in command on things on the earth. You'll be in command of things on the earth. Set your affection. You are, you are the one who can set it. Nobody else can. I'm the one who can set mine. Nobody else can do it for me. Read on, please. Go back to that screen. Colossians 3, verse 1, verse 2. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Go back to verse 2. Go back to verse 2, please. Set your affection on things above, and not on things on the earth. Seek ye for the kingdom of God, and all these things on the earth shall be added to you. Your father knows that you need them, but put this one first and watch how I decorate you by adding all these other ones to you. Every step forward in a man's life is as prompted by his mind. There's a mindset, there's a resetting of the mind to make it happen. A resetting of the mind to make it happen. So when we reset our mind according to the truth of scriptures, we have created a future. You reset your mind according to the details of scriptures, you have created a future. Everything here works. You had the faith academic testimony the other time. Hmm? Is it six Nigerians that are going for that something? And four out of them are from faith academy. Then where is Nigeria? Faith academy. Praise God. In the university system now, where is, where is Nigeria? Covenant. Where it is. You can't make God first and be last. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. I believe you have been tremendously blessed. Please do not forget to like, share, drop a comment, and of course, please subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when I drop any other video. My name is Grace Ganyu. Thank you so much for watching.